Coming up on the show, a challenge for our viewers. You get a million dollars to open any business of your choice in Clarence Rockland. What type of business would you open up and why? Plus, it's obvious that people in Clarence Rockland love pizza. There's so many places to get pizza, including Boston Pizza. We'll stop in there and learn more about the art of making a great pizza. You want to make sure that you look great and you can thanks to the team here at Envy Spa and Massage you want to make sure that your nails are great that people will stop you and say where did you get your nails done to which you'll say Envy right Alicia that's correct definitely yeah. Oh, yeah. so we're here with one of your clients mm -hmm. and your name is Carolyn Carolyn so we're going to get Carolyn's nails looking great, first of all, right? For her night out, yes. dinner. And we're gonna pay for dinner. Here's a million dollars that you can use <laughs> at Boston Pizza. Well, thank you. You're quite welcome. So do, what do we begin with first, Alicia? Okay, so first we're gonna soak the nails. Okay. So sometimes they might need a little guidance, so you're just gonna... A little guidance. Yeah, you're gonna oh, help. Wow, <laughs> feisty. Are all your clients this feisty? No, not at all. So what, so is this just... So we're soaking the nails just to soften up the cuticle, soften the nails, make it a little easier for clipping or uh, filing them. Just so how long uh, Not does very it soak? long. So typically we'll just put them in and mm -hmm. we'll get started on one of the hands, so whichever, and you okay. are going to take this towel here. Seeing that you're my, uh, my trainer, yep. so I just dry your hands. That's right. Well, this is easy so far. You know what? You could become a hand model. You have beautiful <laughs> hands. Well, thank you. <laughs> all right, there's one, so dry it all up. There we go. We'll okay. just put this to the side here. So it's not in our way, it doesn't topple over. Um, so since she has a good length, we would usually ask the client what length that they want, but since her length I would say is pretty good, you can just start to file them a little bit. But you might want to ask what shape she wants. There's a lot of different kinds. So there's different shapes? Oh yes, many. As you can tell, I don't do my nails. <laughs> Any particular shape that you would like? The, the same shape that they are would be actually perfect. Oh, you're an easy client. Yeah. Are the clients always this easy or is it um, just... She always yeah, makes the them most perfectly part. done. So, yeah. <laughs> This okay. Is the way it is. Yeah. All right, so we have two files. We're going to use this one here. Uh huh. Okay. Now, believe it or not, I've never filed anything. Never? No. No. Legally, I mean. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to show you how to do sure. one? You could do the yeah. other. So I like to start with the pinky nail, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to um, hold the hold the her finger here. And since her nail shape is kind of in a square shape, we're going to follow that. You can go back and forth. We're not taking much off. We can get a little bit of the sides here as well. And that's it. And then you'll just want to go downwards to make sure that there's no little fuzzy pieces of nail hanging out. Easy peasy, that's right? It. Yep. All right. Let's Should do this. Here, let's try this <laughs> one. You're just going to throw your hand up. Yep, yep. So am I doing it like this way or? That's it. And feel free. You can go back and forth. It's fine. So I'm not hurting you. You're not hurting me. Not yet. <laughs> All right. I'm tough. Okay, now be honest. Am I doing a good job, or are you just saying this because um, the camera's on? <laughs> Big pause. <laughs> Thanks for you the can reassurance. Tell you're new to this, but that's okay. All right. You'll get better. So once all the nails are filed, mm -hmm. then we would want to push back the cuticles a little bit. So we're gonna. Oh, use... that sounds painful. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. We're gonna be very gentle. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. And again, you want to have a firm grip on her finger. And we're gently just gonna push back the cuticles just a little bit, okay? Now what's the purpose of doing this? So when you push back the cuticles, it helps for our polish to last longer. Typically we would push them back and then we would nip away any of the dead skin, but um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna make it into that today. <laughs> Aren't you lucky, you're off the hook. Um, so yeah, it's uh, to All help right. the polish last longer. So any finger, how about this one? Yeah. So it's like that, right? <laughs> no, can yeah. you tell I'm shaking? So try using just uh, almost like using um, your index finger here to put the pressure ah. rather than all of it from the base. So like that. All right, that's great. 
Um, so then from there, like I said, we would usually cut off the dead skin that's left over after pushing back the cuticles, but we won't worry about that. No, because, I mean, you've got a lovely hand model here. I mean... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to keep it as is, if that's sure. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we'll move on to a hand massage. So we're just going to use a little... Oh, stuff. a hand massage. Those are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I like to take off, if I'm wearing any jewelry, I like to take it off so it doesn't go inside my rings. And then I suggest for the client to remove it as well. All right. So are we using vanilla lavender? Yeah, it's oh, by OPI. Smells great. Mm -hmm. All right, now you get to try. All right. Ready? I think I'm ready. I'd be a there good go. massage therapist, yeah. maybe. <laughs> so just rub it all in. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's it. And then, like a deep tissue massage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. And it's not too strong. It's just, it's fresh. It's, yeah. it's, it's fresh. Good. Yeah. Here we go. Do you feel relaxed? Absolutely. I know I do. Yeah. Want me to try on you? <laughs> That'll be after when the cameras aren't rolling. Gotcha. And then, okay, so this is going to be easy for you. We're mm -hmm. going to apply the base coat first. And the purpose of uh, the base coat? So the base coat is going to help for the color to better adhere. So you want to go all the way to the cuticle without touching any of the skin. You're just keeping it on the nail. And then you want to cap the tip there. So this is going to be pretty easy because it's clear. So. All right. So this base coat, will this make the, uh, the actual color like jump more? No. Last longer? The top coat will help it last longer because it's providing that protection. Um, so that will be our last coat. The Watch top this. Coat. Great job. You want to repeat maybe that just, again? Maybe <laughs> just a couple less brush strokes. Okay. Try to do it in three if you can. All That's right. ideal. Three. So like three strokes? Yep. There's one, two. Excellent. Three. You know oh. how to count to three. I know how to count to three. <laughs> it's one of the prerequisites to get a television show on TBC 22. So as we continue to put on this base coat, how long have you been in uh, business here in Rockland, Alicia? Um, it's been 18 months mm -hmm. that the original location opened, and then this side is new, so we just opened in December. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And once people see this, wow, you're going to have bookings, you know. Yeah, that would be fantastic. If I wasn't so uh, busy with my uh, shoe shining on the side, I'd <laughs> gladly volunteer. All right, so All right. the base is on. All right, so yeah, then we can start with our color. Usually if you go, if you start from one side, work your way to the other, then it should be dry enough that we can start with the color. So I'm gonna show you. Now, do the fumes ever get to you? No, is it bothering you? No, no. no. Okay. I can see butterflies oh, in the geez. air and... So I'm gonna go close up to the cuticle as close as I can without touching the skin. Now your cameraman picked this color and uh, red is the most difficult color to apply, so. He did that on purpose knowing yeah. that I would be doing it. That's We've right. got a great team here, by the way. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you get the sides too. I see, I almost missed that, there. You make it seem try. so easy. Now, the fact that I could never color within the lines, you think that's gonna, you know, <laughs> cause a problem? All right. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? We're off a little bit. I love okay. the shake. I love the shake. There's no shake, it's, it's <laughs> our cameraman. Okay, well, I missed a little. All right. First go. That's next, so bad. next That's one's so going to be a lot better. Okay. That was just, you know. I yeah. trust you. And you are going out tonight, right? I am. So you know, you gotta. All right. Step up your game there. So let me try it on this side, maybe. Oh, you're getting better. He Hold. is. You could tell he's into it. He's getting yeah. quiet now. He's really yeah, trying. He is. Yeah, he's paying attention. Well, I don't want to yeah. mess it up, and I probably will. You know what? It's not as easy as you think. No. Yeah, it's it's right around the corner. I find it tricky. All right. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it's getting, it's getting barely better. passable. He's, he's but see how you're just, you're blotting it. See here, mm -hmm. you can see how you've blotted it. But so that's all gonna show. You need it. You need to come down and just do it in in strokes so that you just, don't see those little. Just like you're painting a wall. Yeah, exactly. You don't need anyone to do any painting around here, right? No. no. Okay, you're, you're lucky. I think we're good for now. <laughs> Do you have a painting job on the side too? No, no, a really busy uh, shining shoes. Okay, I'm j I was just making sure because I was thinking maybe not hiring you. <laughs> wow, Ooh, snap. I, don't, I don't know if you're going to get that million dollar bill I was going to give you. <laughs> Okay, see, to me that one's a little bit better. It is a little better. There's less on the skin, I would say. Yeah. What I, do you think? I think it's good. For my for first, first time? For a first time, Perfect. I would say it's great. Yeah. Especially in a red. Yes. Yeah. You did Absolutely. a great job. Yes. Do you think you could do this as um, your third career now? I don't know. Again, the uh, shoe shining um, business really took off. So. <laughs> Too busy with shoe shining. Too yeah. busy. Too busy. Gotcha. All right. Last thing, I'm just going to put on a top coat. So as. I mentioned earlier, this is going to protect the nail and help it to last longer. Again, it's a clear, so it's easy to put on. And you wanna make sure to cap the tip. Wow, look at that, that middle finger that you did. <laughs> it's, it's a work of art. A work of <laughs> it art. It really That's, is. You know what, That's a, yes, perfect. Awesome way to put it. I oh. did it on purpose so your nails will stand out. <laughs> there. You, oh, I did them all. Was that okay? That's great. That's okay. <laughs> all right. Yep. Yeah. I'm good that? to go tonight. Yeah. And I love the two-tone color. Mm -hmm. Again, did it on purpose. <laughs> Had nothing to do with lack of timing. And welcome back. We're in the kitchen here at Boston Pizza in Rockland. So we're going to be working with some dough. Of course, later on, we're going to be asking you what you would do with dough is in the form of $1 million. And how would you spend it? In the meantime, real dough, making some pizza with Cedric here at BP. Now, I hear the Hi. kitchen manager, Libby, is away. Yes, that is one of her deals. <laughs> this is a good thing, right? Maybe. <laughs> so we're going to make, what, two pizzas? Yeah, so we'll be making a, a medium pierogi pizza mm -hmm. and a medium thin crust carnivore, which is part of uh, our thin crust promotion for the summer. What do we start with first? So we'll start off with the pierogi. Okay. So first we'll come over here and we'll grab our medium pizza dough. All right. So if you'd like to, you can just grab the lid and the lid will go in the bin here. All right. It's going to get washed out later. Just toss it in the bin. And then we're gonna open the first drawer here. And with that spoon and the sour cream, we're just gonna spoon a How's that? pretty Good. big one on, yeah. Right in the middle? Right in the middle, and then just spread it out. Keep some uh, room for a crust there. Should it go all over it or just? Uh... Pretty much all over it, yeah. Holy. And we'll leave a little bit for the crust. How's that? Pretty good, cover every part of it. And the next step, uh, we're gonna take those potatoes there. Those are our cactus cut potatoes. Yep. And then we just layer them all around. So just to cover the sour cream. How long does it take you normally to uh, put together a pizza like this? Uh, depending what pizza. Let's uh, say this one. Longer, Let's this say one, this one. Take about a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Yeah. You know what? You got me beat. I'm sure you can do it. Got me beat, no pressure. More? Or? Yeah, a little more. Little more? Start cover here, there. Try to get every part so there's a little kick in every bite. Maybe one here, one there, and should be good. Okay, do me a favor. 
Yes. Don't tell Libby. Uh-oh. You don't see me do anything. All right, so the next step, we're gonna take that yellow measuring cup there, and the top part of it, we're gonna fill up with mozzarella. You can just dig in with your hands there. It's oh, easier. you can? Oh, yeah. All right. And then that would just evenly spread it out. You know what, those potatoes do have a bite. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna take some bacon in this camera, which is a little handful. And then again, spread it out evenly all across the board. And maybe a bit more. That's it. That's it. That's a pierogi. Now all we have to do is put that in the oven. So right there in the top deck. In the top deck. And from there, that takes seven minutes to cook. And that's it. And that's it. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. I'm game for another one. Another one? Another one. All right, let's do it. You know, the first one was so easy. We're gonna make another one. So what are we making now? Cause I feel like I'm on a roll, Cedric. How am I doing? How am I doing? You're doing good, you're doing All good. All right. Let's see if you can keep it up. So the next one is called the uh, Thin Crust Carnivore Pizza. Oh, Carnivore. Oh yeah, it's a good one. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna grab two spoons here. We're just gonna clean them out. So first thing we'll do is we're gonna take some sriracha hot sauce. Oh, bring on the heat. And we're just gonna do a thin layer of that, so if you wanna spread it out. Yep. And just keep some room here. We good? That's perfect. Okay. And then the next step, we're gonna take some garlic butter with the brush. Oh. And we're just gonna go a nice, uh, nicely around the crust there. Okay. So let you do that. It's like we're doing a little bit of painting here at Boston Pizza. Yeah, making pizza is an art. It is. So just right around like that? Yeah, just, just at the crust. A little more, if you don't mind. Yep. Just like that. Perfect. We're good? Yeah, we're good. And then, I'm gonna take our next ingredients. Man, can you smell the garlic. Oh yeah. Ooh. So here we have some uh, cherry tomatoes in our house marinade. We have uh, uh, bacconcini slices, so mozzarella basically. Uh, here we have salami. And uh, the last thing we need is some prosciutto. Hens carnivore, you said. Exactly. So the first thing you'll do, you'll open up these bags. So everything that we have is portioned. Okay. And then we're just gonna evenly spread those around and not too close to the edges because then all the, the, the moisture and the cheese will like seep out. We're good there. Just like that, yeah. Okay, your kitchen manager, Libby's not here. Yeah. When you're making pizza and no one's watching, you ever sample? Not really, no. No? Not when it's raw like that. You've never done it. You've never sampled anything at work. Not really. No one from Boston Pizza little, is gonna watch, don't maybe worry. A little salami, but. Oh, okay. All right, so next thing, we're gonna take that salami here. Speaking of. And same thing, just put them all over. Leave those up for you. So what's the name of this pizza again, Cedric? The Thin Crust Carnivore Pizza. What's your favorite pizza? If you had to pick. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I'd have to say either the pierogi or this one, actually. Why is that? I don't know, I like, uh, I like the kick they have. A little spicy. Spice is good, oh, all yeah. right. Spice, meat, can't go wrong. Coming together. So the next one, prosciutto.
Oh yeah, you said evenly, right? Yeah, it's pretty even. Of course it is. There's a lot of it, so. You're an easy it trainer. After, right? Now. Then yeah, then we take those uh, nice tomatoes there. And we try to uh, we try to put them so that the, the how do we see this? The cut that's half. The yep. Facing upwards. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Well, I knew what you meant. You're a good trainer. I got gotcha. you. I try my best. I got gotcha. you. My best. How long have you been here at Boston Pizza? Uh, a little over a year. You know, Livy, yeah. the kitchen manager, is going to see your great training ability, and you know what? You'll uh, you'll climb up the ranks. I'll put in a good word for you with Libby. <laughs> she has no clue who I am, but you know, I'll talk to Brad and say you're you a that? good trainer. I think they know. All right. Not to Brad. So, do I rock the uniform? Do you think? Do you think oh, if yeah. I walk in later on tonight, walked into the kitchen, that people would buy it? They think I'm. Probably. A new employee. I mean, I don't even have a name tag, so. Oh, really? We, nope. I don't know. We don't get that. I'll talk to Libby. <laughs> I'm sure we. I'm, I'm sure we'd let you work tonight. Want to come in? What? So you could go home? Oh no, no. I'm. I'm gonna stay. I'll be. be watching Ooh. over you. There's more training to be done. Exactly. Making more pizzas. All right. That's beautiful. It looks what? Say Beautiful. that again? It's amazing. I think I just heard the trainer say it looks beautiful. And that's it? What uh, are we missing? Almost. There's one more thing. So if you'd like to grab that pizza. So we're going to get some sesame seeds over here and above the floor because we don't want to get yeah. any uh, cross contamination. We just grab the pizza and put a little sesame seed all over the crust like nice. this. Nice. You want to keep going? Sure. Just the crust, right? Yeah, just over the crust. How's that, good? That's pretty good. And that's it. And then that's it. And then carefully place that on the top deck so tomatoes don't go everywhere. And how long does it take for these to cook on average? You said seven. On average, that one about six minutes because they're thin crusts. They take, up a, take a little less time. Standard, so standard pizza? How standard long? Standard pizza, seven minutes. Man, so I'm hungry. Quicker. And, and that's, that's it. it. There you go. In sync, we both said it at the same time. And great minds think alike. Exactly. That's why we're a great team. Hey, well, can't, wait, with you. can't wait to do you some to sampling. So after all the hard work of me learning how to make pizza in the kitchen here at Boston Pizza in Rockland, thanks going out to Cedric, I think it's time that uh, we sample with the crew. I know the crew's pretty hungry. <laughs> Dig in, guys. Enjoy the unofficial Derek Scott pizza made here at BP. We often see things on Facebook from people posting saying we need this type of business in Clarence Rockland and that type of business. Here is the challenge that we're putting out to you. Of course, money is always an issue, but let's say money wasn't the issue. You get handed a $1 million bill. And with the $1 million, you get to open whatever business you want in Clarence Rockland. What business would you open and why spending our $1 million? I would open up a business for abused animals because there's not too many around here and there's a lot of abused animals around that could use some safe haven. Definitely a high-end restaurant because I find that we have a lot of burger places and pizza places in Rockland, but if my husband and I want to go out for dinner and not spend, like, not a five-star restaurant, but just want to spend a nice evening, I find we need, we're lacking that in Rockland. Now, what would be on the menu? Steak, maybe seafood? Both. <laughs> yeah, surf and turf, sir. Yeah, surf and turf. <laughs> surf Home Depot. Because the business around here, some are too expensive, and they haven't got as much choice. Starbucks. And why Starbucks? 
because I love coffee, good coffee. Well, we already have Tim Hortons. It's not Starbucks. And why isn't it Starbucks? What's, what's missing? Uh, the flavors of the coffee, the brew of the coffee, dairy-free. Dairy-free options, which they do not offer at Tim Hortons at all. For people with allergies, they have a lot of alternatives. And that's the reason why I would go with it. Store, uh, farm boy, because I find there's a lot of uh, organic stuff there, uh, food, uh, veggies, uh, fruits. And I don't know, they have a lot more than what other stores have in here in Rockland. And even though Farm Boy isn't really all that far away, mm -hmm. you still think a Farm Boy would work in the city of Clarence Rockland? I think so because we have a lot of people, it really grew in, in 18 years. I, I'm here since 18 years and I find that um, like all Morris Village and then they're putting up condos at the Gulf and then there's the other, on the other side there, they have um, another project going on, I'm not sure the name, but there's a lot of uh, store, uh, not stores, but uh, a lot of people, new people. And I don't think we have enough store, uh, stores for groceries and especially organic stuff. I like uh, the natural stuff, if possible. <laughs> That's it. I would open a um, film studio. A actual, an actual place where we can film stuff, uh, not only for uh, local productions, which we don't have any of, but uh, for uh, American productions that are in Toronto, in Montreal, Ottawa's got nothing and nothing. And trust me, I work in a the business, there's nothing in Ottawa. So it would, you know, uh, it would uh, bring American productions, which have the money and they always need the space because there's always they're always shooting. Unlike Canadian productions that are only shooting in uh, April and May. So yeah, that's what I would bring to Ottawa, also uh, to Rockland. Also, we have lots of space for a big giant studio, maybe two, three play, three uh, studio places. Maybe a big restaurant. And what would you serve at this restaurant? Um, high quality food uh, with good service. And you don't think we have that already in Clarence there Rockland? Is, there is. There are, there are restaurants and uh, they're fairly... Uh, but there isn't a restaurant that would compare to uh, like Moxie's or other places that, that are higher quality. What would be on the menu? Would it be steak, seafood? I'm a steak guy and the seafood. Yeah, that would be probably the... Uh, because I'm hungry right now, that's why I'm thinking of restaurants. <laughs> Home Depot or Lowe's. Now, we already have Rona, we already have Canadian Tire. Do you think we need another similar business here in Clarence Rockland and why? Because uh, Lowe's and Home Depot have more selection and the price is better. I would open up a, a, a home for people with, uh, with disabilities, um, more uh, mental disabilities, and uh, then try and integrate them back into, uh, into the society. So it would be a place where anybody could show up and uh, they'd be taken care of. You're handed a million dollars to open any business you want in Clarence Rockland. What business would you open and why? I would open a weed business because that's the place to go now. <laughs> Everybody's going to get into that business.